pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, welcome, everybody. I'd like to start off by congratulating our holiday winners while you're here. Might as well start with you. Our, our first place prize goes to Dan and Sue Bellrose right across the street. In case you didn't see their house, they received overall best presentation for day and night display. Nice, simple Christmas showing that looks perfect no matter when you go by. So they received first place. And second place is for Dennis and April Sutter. If you want to come on up. This is for the best evening display of lights. Congratulations. Thank you. You did a nice job. And third place we have to John and Jessica Kaufman. They live up on Oak Street and they have the best daytime display. And thank you to everyone who participated. It was fun as usual to go around and look and uh, see all the creative things uh, that folks had done with their homes. It's always fun to do. Did you notice we were the only ones decorated though on our street? On your street it was, yeah. There were a few streets that were pretty sad this year, but for the most part, you know, it was a good display. And then we had um, some very bright streets that Nysig really liked and enjoyed the uh, electric sure they bill whirring us. away. <laughs> <laughs> they should go back to giving their $50 gift certificate to help defer the cost of running the lights, right? Mm -hmm. So that was nice when they did that. But thank you guys for participating. It's really nice. Okay. Uh, roll call of members. Should have done that first. Apologize. Mayor Moore is excused tonight. Um, we have Amy here, who's the acting mayor. Here. Uh, Trustee Martin. Here. Trustee Trombley. Here. Trustee Trombley. Here. All right. Approval of the minutes from the previous meeting. Do I have a motion? Motion. A second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any discussion? Actually, I should have said first. Thank you. All right. Mike, say so. Yes, I'll have a few things tonight. Um, you did get a copy of the letter of the inspection that was done in the building downtown from the engineer as requested. Um, I'm going through quite different. It. Yeah, it's quite different than what we had. Um, it is what it is, but anyway. I'm going through it. It's a level three alteration repair, which is a pretty significant amount of work has to be done. He still is going to have to supply us with a set of plans as to what he's going to do in there. Um, there's some questions I need to get answered, but I'll be contacting him and more likely he'll come in, we'll discuss it and see where we're going to go from there. Um, other than that, uh, there was another issue in the village I resolved as far as property maintenance been working with a person. There, there's still a few out there and I'm slowly working on them. Um, I did get up to uh, the new business that's in the village, um, Elegance Coatings this past week. And I was talking with the, the general manager there and they've got 20 to 23 people employed already. And the buses are coming in and they're rolling out. So I, I don't know, I was quite impressed with the operation and the amount of work that's being done there. Other than that, that, that's all I have for right now. What are we really looking cool. for a time frame for that uh, downtown place? Downtown? Well, this coming week, the rest of this week, and probably next week, I'll have sent him a letter, and then I'll have to wait and hear from him, see okay. what he wants to do. Because he said in his letter that he'd begin once the weather changed. Well, we know that's not happening until April. Yeah. So in the meantime, are we requiring him to get the plan together? What is he going to be doing? Exactly. Yeah, that, Okay. That, that's my contention. Now, he may have another thought on this, or his engineers may have something else. We may have to get the village engineer involved in some of this, but I just want to see where he wants to go with it. You know? Any questions for Mike? Mm -hmm. okay. kind of covers what I was going to And welcome, Harry. I'm sure you have some things to share with us. Lots happening. Uh, so. Uh, I just uh, for the first thing we had a, we had a really good meeting uh, Larry the mayor and myself and the sheriff and over Ross's point I didn't know were there results from that that you guys were able to follow this was the homeland security meeting uh, trying to secure some funding for I got a copy of the map and stuff and I delivered it myself down to the sheriff department right. so I'm 
I haven't heard back from them. Okay. Uh, are we are we looking for uh, a video system protection or a fence? Or I, both? I think that's what we're looking the for. Video the video system. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, you know, let me know on that. Uh, I, I think uh, it sounds like the funding is already here for that. So that was a, that was a, that was a good thing. Uh, yeah, the water tank, water plant. Look at some fencing around it too. Yeah. Around, yeah. around, yeah, I thought the around the just tank. around the day. Yeah. I think that was part of it. Yeah. That's yeah. What we're looking for. Yeah. When did you get him the map? Because I talked to him this afternoon. He was waiting on something from you. Uh, that was. It was, was that same week? A couple weeks ago, I took him and I took a water sample down, so it was it wasn't the same week. Uh, okay. I got the copies. Uh, All right, we should probably double check with him Wednesday. because the money's there and they're ready to start moving. So. Well, I have to, I have to take water samples down, so okay. I will stop and talk to myself. Okay, great. Yeah, take advantage of it. I mean, yeah. We we supply the water for our border. Uh, it'd be great to take advantage of that. Uh, the next thing you probably saw in the news, but I'll just mention it because we're kind of proud of it, the fact we were able to lower the county tax rate from we started around 14.2% increase, we got it down to uh, 0.8, first time uh, we've been below $6 a thousand in the last 10 years. Champlain, unfortunately, dropped by a penny, but at least it went down. So that's better than some other uh, areas, and, and as all of you know, this year is going to be impossible, and I'm sure it's going to be for the villages too. Uh, we have changed uh, airport service. Uh, we've decided to go with Hogan Air. Uh, you may have seen that in the news. And how that affects us here is that we now have a bigger plane uh, as of the 1st of March. And for those people who don't like to fly on an eight passenger, uh, no bathroom, uh, no services, and you get to talk to the pilot all the way to Boston flight, um, and if you have children, that, that's a big deal. Um, it, it, we're going with a 35 to 40 passenger, and they uh, co-share with uh, US, U.S. Air and Continental. And so you should be able to book a flight out of Plattsburgh to anywhere in the country, and, it's, and we're, we're, we're very pleased with that. We feel bad for Cape Air. They've been with us right from the beginning, but uh, it just that's the best they can provide for us. So we, First change. Shouldn't be much, uh, but again, the price is only guaranteed for a year, so the difference between, I think it was like $6, so it was not significant. But again, uh, they pick up this essential air service, we only get one, they pick up a million dollars from the federal government for this essential air service. So that's, bidding Plattsburgh is not the big deal, it's picking up that extra million that they get for doing this, and that's why Cape Air fought so hard to hang on to it. We will continue to get that for the next couple of years, but after that, it's going to be gone, so it's going to have to make it on its own. But the general comments, especially from Canadians, which is about 80% of the business, uh, is that they would never fly on any passenger. I mean, they come up, you know, they're, they they want the bigger planes. And so if we're going to get them to go out of Plattsburgh, not, to, you know, not on, uh, you know, uh, any of the services we have to Myrtle Beach or Fort Lauderdale, uh, uh, but if we're going to get them on the other flights, we're going to have to have a bigger plane. Uh, the chamber is going to market that uh, heavily in Montreal. So hopefully it'll, because they are going to have to ultimately pay for themselves down the road. That, I just want to go on record and say my daughter's going to be very disappointed. Because? She enjoyed the eight passenger flight. Well, and you know, I, they, they paraded, you, you'll, you'll appreciate this, they paraded a number of people through at a meeting uh, that really did. And uh, I, all I can tell you is that the, the assumption by the marketing we've done. And, and in addition to that, they're non-pressurized cabins. So for anybody that has any kind of, you know, uh, you know, ear problems or anything else, I mean, it, it, it's fun. The people, the people that went on that flight said they really had a good time getting to know the pilot and so on. It was, it was fantastic. Having said that, uh, we just think that that will probably within the first year uh, probably increase uh, the number of uh, deplanes by a significant number. But okay. we'll pass along your daughter's comment. Cape Air will appreciate that. The views were tremendous. <laughs> I'm sure. And she got to sit up in the in the right hand seat. Oh, right. she did. Oh, yeah. The pilots and everything. They said oh, wow. uh, that's right. They would have a co-pilot. They let somebody sit up there. Yeah. Um, but there are people that that's not their cup of tea. Um, You're cozy. It is cozy. It's very cozy. And uh, but if you're if you're flying, we a couple of people have called and said you know they were planning a, a trip with a family and they had you know they had eight or nine of them and you know, they were flying.
flying to a destination, well, I had, I had to get two different flights. We couldn't all get on the same plane. So there's a lot of downsides to, to that. And, you know, unfortunately, Cape Air does have a few bigger planes, but they're on the Pacific Rim, and they won't bring them here. So they had an opportunity, because we like Cape Air, but we decided to go with a bigger plane. And they donate. They donate the generous to the community. Oh, they do? Oh, absolutely. They, and they, they listed all of the things that they have done for the community. And they have local representatives in each town who also came to the meeting. But it was, and it, it is the first six to four vote that I was able to participate in. And it was not an easy decision. But we were trying to look forward and say that this is where we saw the future. And we would be willing to go with Cape Air if they could give us a bigger plan. And they could not do it. So. Uh, they maintain we'll be back um, again with Cape Air, so we'll see what happens. Um, okay, uh, just on, on the budget process, I don't know whether you guys are feeling any of the effects uh, as the state cuts back on promises they made from now through March 31st. We're seeing it in probation, real property, social services, uh, they're all everything being uh, monies that were already promised to us. And of course, our budget year runs for nine months of the of the state budget year. So for the county, it's going to be almost, I, I, I don't know what we're going to do. We're, we're looking at billions of dollars in shortfall at the state level, which translates into millions for the county. So, and I assume that we're all going to be in the same boat. So anybody having more shared services ideas or any, any ideas where monies can be saved, obviously we're looking for those. Um, the, uh, we did have a meeting the other day about computerization. I guess you guys are pleased with the, the computerization package that you received from the county. Is that, is that accurate? Or? Uh, the tax program yes. has worked well. But I attended a meeting, and I don't believe they're staying with that company. They well, were. they can't provide, Tunnel can't provide the county with what he promised. So we are not going to be able to provide some of the services. It doesn't affect too much the villages, although I do think that some of the, Rouse's Point may, may yet change back, uh, and the town has not changed yet. But just, I'm just trying to get a flavor for your feeling about the program that you're using now, is that? Uh, we haven't had, it, it's been great the, the year that we've used it. Okay. We didn't have a program before. Right. So we don't have anything to go back to other than manual, so. Right. And, and that's where the tunnel program has been working the best with, with areas that had not been, you know, on a computer program before. Right. Okay. Um, the only other thing that I, I mean, I'm not going to go into the Pfizer thing. There's nothing really new except that you probably saw it in the, in the paper. Um, they are going to uh, at least hold a chem pilot for another six months in Rouse's Point. So hopefully they're going to work through what that means through 2010, which basically means that they'll have a marketable building there for a full year instead of a half year. And, uh, you know, for those of us that are concerned, because with those, those assessments, they will not affect necessarily the village of Champlain, although it will affect people in the village because if it goes off the county school and town tax rolls, then obviously that's going to be another disaster. So in addition to not having funding, we're going to be losing assessment uh, in, in the township. But we'll, we'll see what happens. To, uh, Gary Douglas, I found to be one of the most uh, professional people I've ever seen in terms of, of marketing, and uh, you know, he pulled Acromax out of the hat. So we'll see what happens. It is a long shot, however, and he's made that quite clear that uh, in terms of getting someone else to be in there. Um, I didn't know what <coughs> your situation was. I think we may have talked about this the last time in relation to health insurance is provided. I, are, are you guys using Burnham Financial out of Placid for your... We do, but yes. the only one that has insurance through Burnham is me. The other ones have um, Teamsters. Okay. Okay. Because they're a union. Yeah. Uh, did you... Because we saved $400,000 in, in that year when we changed over, uh, and I didn't know whether it was anything to look at down the road, even though they're unionized. Uh, if, I guess if you want more information on that, mm -hmm. you know, we have 860 employees, so obviously you're not going to, but it's something to look at if, if, if in fact, they would consider it. A lot of, through Burnham? Yes. A, a lot of the, um, the county employees opted for the new plan, which did save us. What, what insurance is it? Pardon me? What insurance is it? it it's, it's one of the blues, but it, it, is a, it is a special hybrid that has 
I mean, there, there are pluses and minuses to it. But if you're interested, I can get you the, the two plants you can take a look at. Okay. See, the only problem is here with Burnham is that you need to have, you're going to have some kind of plan of insurance. You need to have so many employees, which yeah. is a minimum of, I think they just dropped it to like three. Yeah. And the, the plan that I'm in is an, is, is an empire plan, it's an HMO, but it doesn't have any requirements, so so we have right. only one person, okay. which they allow. Right. L let me let me see if I can get you some information. We'll see how many other employees are covered in, in the village. Um, all the guys have the insurance, okay. and they're and they're in, it's four guys. Alright. So they have teamsters. So be yeah. a total of five. Yeah. yeah. All right. The well, last thing you probably saw this uh, elected officials who are in the retirement system have to now. Um, we did see that. Okay. I don't know whether that's anybody elected or appointed officials. Okay. So you, you're Just aware. Just Okay. You're aware that you have to keep a log and so on. This came up at the Moore's meeting, so I did some research Remember on we it. Remember we talked about that? We did and, uh, take over the next six month period, you're going to have to log your hours. But I thought that they, when you checked on it, we didn't need to do anything. Well, it, when were you elected? Oh, sure. Well, this was my second term. term. Okay, but when, so it's when you start your next term, if you decide to, when, is, is this the beginning? Are you up this year? Or no. no. Okay, so it'll be next year. Next year. Next year for three months. They're, they're requiring of all officials, if they're in the retirement system. Does it have, yeah. it, you, you don't do it in the mid, middle of the term? It has to be at the beginning of the yes, term? Yes, it has to be in the beginning. And I thought it was three months. It is. It's, it's a, over a six-month period. It's any three consecutive months. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. So, and there's only one in Moore's, and then maybe a couple in Champlain. Not, I, you know, I, I, I never did it, and and you know, I, I had no idea when I first ran for trustee that I was actually going to be in politics for a while. So mm -hmm. I didn't even, didn't even uh, consider. It. But once you say no, I guess you're out. I mean, that's it. And, uh, but there are a number of uh, legislators, and, and of course. It can be, you know, like uh, this attorney, uh, you know, clerk, and, and any of the people, elected yeah. or appointed officials. Uh, I know so. when I, I went to a meeting with Potsdam and they mentioned it about keeping, that's when I came back, I mentioned it to Juanita. And one lady said that there was one of their employees that they, the retirement system took back like 20 years of service that he had thought he had in the retirement system. Oh. It was just, you know, not putting in the time. Well, the concern on the part of, it was interesting, on the part of Morris, they were concerned that, that if they showed a, a, a pattern of, of attendance and then they missed a meeting, that they'd get docked money. You know, and that, of course, is not the intention of this. But that's, mm -hmm. that was a concern. Once you show a pattern, and then somebody has to be excused, for example, you know, would they, would they end up docking? And, of course, that's, that's not the case. So. Okay, very good. Well, again, you know, uh, I don't know whether I... I been coming every other month, and I don't know whether I, I ask each board if you feel that's enough uh, during a year's time. I certainly could make an effort to get here every month if you thought it was necessary, but if I don't hear anything, I'll assume that that's, that's fine. And, uh, you know, if any issues come up at all, I, I am more than happy to set something. I set something up with Arsene uh, last week with Joe Drew on that computerization, and I'd be very happy to assist and also to, to attend the meeting with you uh, if that would help. So just let me know. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, no report from Mayor Moore, so I guess I'll give my report, which was already done by announcing the winners of the decorating contest. Um, I know. I know. And then, you know. Um, tree pickup will be this Wednesday. Um, right. Please have your trees out by 7 a.m. Because uh, if you're the first house on the route and your tree's not out and you put it out midday, it's going to sit there until uh, spring cleanup. They won't pick it up at spring cleanup. You'll have to chop it up into pieces and put it into a little bag. Um, so uh, make sure you get it out there first thing in the morning on your snowbank by the side of the road, and they will pick that up for you. Uh, the, the local high school is going to be having flu shots, so if you haven't gotten the information on the H1N1 shot, that will be available at Northeastern coming up. I believe it's on the 20th. Um, so check your kids' knapsacks and uh, look for that information because it is being offered to all the kids uh, out there. And that's all I have. Kim? I have no report. Mr. Markey. Um, 
like to congratulate the holiday winners. You did a wonderful job. It's always nice to see you know, the lights and things and the effort that you've made in the village. It's, it's very nice. Thank you. Uh, thanks to the village crew keeping the streets and sidewalks clear of snow. And thanks to the village residents and uh, in this same regard as well by keeping their sidewalks clean. Uh, I had a note here with Christmas trees. It's already done. A uh, reminder, the next shared services meeting will be January 20th, 5 p.m. at the village office. As always, the public is invited to attend these meetings. And I don't know really if you want to do this on your business, but I'll do it here. Um, this is a reminder to our residents that we will be changing our meeting times for the month of February, March, April, and May of this year to the second Tuesday at 6.30. The second Tuesday of the month at 6:30 here in the village office. The village board meetings will be changed for those four months. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Uh, yeah, again, congratulations. Uh, I did expensive decorating for years, so I know how much work it is, especially to take it all down. But nice job. It's really appreciate it. Drive around the village and uh, you see that. Everybody's best up in spirits. Thank you. And Larry, uh, you know, congratulations to the crew. The streets and sidewalks have been well taken care of. And it's very Extra much appreciated. Too. Pardon me? Extra merit, too. Ah, oh, did you? I haven't been on that corner, apparently. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's all I have. I have no report tonight. Great. Thank you. Um, report from the Cook Treasurer. Um, everybody's been happy with the expense revenue reports for December. Um, we also did a water and sewer billing. Um, our water figure was $52,461.83. And sewer was $76,577.18. One more time. Sewer? Yep, $76,577.18. Questions for one of Okay, presentation of the warrant and payment. Um, we need to add one bill. It's a bill for Bob Jewell um, to come out of GA 130.1, $197. Motion. Have a motion, please. Yeah. Mr. Martin. Martin. Second. I make a motion to. Uh, Approve the transfer that one. Second. $197. Motion by Tom. Second by Craig. All in favor? Oh, any questions? Discussion? Again, yeah, usually you do. You can you approve the warrant with, 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 with okay. Bob Jewell. Do you want to amend your um, motion? Right, that's really what I meant. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, <was saying. laughs> I thought so. Approve the warrant with the addition of. Uh, Bob Jewell's payment for my seven. Thank you. Ditto what I just said, including everything. Any questions? Um, I had one question. Uh, what did we pay last year for our liability insurance, our workman's comp? Do you know? No. It wasn't? God, it's ghastly. It was. $16,687. It was $15,000. Yeah. It was like $600, $800 difference between last year's and this year's. There's nothing we can do to reduce it, huh? Uh, believe me, Amy, I tried. <laughs> I went through all payroll figures, wow. re-added them, and sent them to, because it was 18. A pretty close to 18. Was it? Yeah. Wow. They had us for almost $300,000 for payroll. Well, we, to, we talked about it. She went through one, because there was some things that didn't look right. Right. So. Okay. And we dropped it down to 200 and. 58,000 or something. It's still a little lower. 
um, but it's like a hundred dollars difference between what actual payroll was and what the payroll that we figured mm -hmm. that I sent her so we could redo it for the year. Okay. Anybody have any other questions? All in favor? Do I go one by one on this one? Yeah. Okay. Trustee Kim Trombley. Trustee Greg Martin. Aye. Uh, Trustee Amy Garrett. Aye. Trustee Tom Trombley. Aye. <coughs> Motion passes. Okay. Let me go back to my list that I buried. <coughs> Well, you've all got a copy of my work report. Um, just catching up on a bunch of other things. And, um, we got the K9 truck started up and running. We delivered that today. It's gone. Um, working on getting rid of a couple other things. And, uh, we did have a water main break up in that lane that was all taken care of. Just keeping the streets clean, keeping it going. Who ended up buying the truck there? What's that? Who ended up buying the truck? Uh, a John Yarts from the Isle of Mock. Problems with the grease traps and the... What's that? Any problems with the grease traps and the logs and so... Um, the January 4th you were back out? The January... No, I didn't go... There's a couple places up in the town that the mobile station, Sonoco station, that Mickey said they, theirs wasn't in yet. So I figured I'd give them a chance to get them in and go around hit everybody again and see what's happening on that. And the new maple fields? The new maple fields, they have their stuff all intact. Okay. Yeah, and I, I saw you stopped at St. Mary's too? Correct. Um, Debbie, what's that? I don't think there is a grease trap. No, and I, Debbie knows and they're going to have to do something with it. Okay. What about the high school? The high school has 4L site grease traps. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, you were meeting with the board or two. Anything further on uh, that? Nope. No? I haven't heard anything. We met with Dave Favreau and, and Harry down there for the camera system and stuff, security. Okay. Yes. But nothing for the uh, the water meter? No. no. Christmas decorations all came down today. We'll go back upstairs tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, we had a couple that were pretty shot. Uh, yeah, so we're going to go through them. Okay. We, we still have next year, hopefully, well, this summer, hopefully, we'll make some boxes and get some out some different poles. Okay. That'd be great. All right, can you talk to the sheriff there? Ice rink, what's happening with that? Uh, we cleaned up down there. It's with the water main break and getting that truck and stuff. Just didn't have time to finish it. Okay. We have February break, third week of February. It'd be nice if we have it by then. It'd be nice to have it sooner. We'll see. Well, the kids need something to do around here. We just don't have anything for them to do. And I really would like you to see me and make it a priority. Okay. Um, in vacation time, you might want to take a look at the staff's vacation time. We're down to six months, and some have quite a bit of hours, especially Woody. You can take a look well, at that. He's got carried over from um, recent. So you might want to just start looking at scheduling him in some vacations regularly here to cut that down. He's been taking some days. Okay. Try and get him a little bit more locked together. Because he's never going to weed this away. We're just going to keep carrying and carrying. We said we weren't going to carry anymore. So. Well. No. <coughs> so we, you know, we don't want to lose that kind of hours. All right. Any other questions for Larry? Yes. Um, our new truck is in the can getting put together. So hopefully another week. We just got a few weeks, right? What's that? It's been in there for a few weeks. Uh, it's been a week. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Um, we're just going to have to pick a date that we can swap the sander out on it. Okay. Any other questions for there? No. Thank you for keeping up on the snow. It does make a huge difference, especially for the people that walk. Big, big we difference. Have so many the salt people. Shed. Yeah. yeah. I mean, big difference. Good. Money well spent right there. <coughs> mm -hmm. It's nice up there. Okay. Uh, correspondence is. Letter to Greg Galilli, from code officer, Tatro regarding his property 1191 Route 9. 
correspondence from O'Connell Arnowitz regarding both the claim for Chad Poyer's apartment. Chad Poyer's property damage at 1141 Route 9. Invitations to holiday contest winners. Sewer credit request on behalf of Douglas Stearns and backup information from Deputy Clerk Barcombe. Corresponding with Customs and, Bur Customs and Border Protection with executed lease agreement for repeater tower at Water Tank. Correspondence from Clinton County Highway Department regarding 2010 Highway Utility Work Permit. Correspondence from Ronald Assembly regarding engineering report. There's property at 1163-1165 Route 9. Thank you. Any questions? Okay. Um, um, if you want to do under, under new business, I realize I didn't list it there, but the Douglas Stearns request needs to be acted on. Oh, yes. Thank you. Okay. Uh, old business. We touched on the GSA meter. Absolutely no update. You have any plan of a meeting with these folks? You're going to get together with Ian just for the holidays? We got together with them. Okay. We went and? and they haven't got back with us. The funds are there, but they only, they only can allocate it at certain times. So. And what are those times? Didn't say. They were going to get back with us. Well, ask them for some certain times, and maybe we can get some more specifics out of them. With their masters at pushing off, they are the United States government. Okay. Uh, new business. Uh, one thing we did not mention, um, I failed to mention, there are two trustee positions that are up uh, for re-election. Anyone who is interested in running for a trustee position, you can pick up a petition from Donna or Juanita here in the village office. Uh, and you go around and you get signatures. A minimum is 50 signatures. I suggest you get a minimum of 70 in case there's duplicates. Um, or people that say they're registered and they're not registered voters. Uh, so if you're interested in running, uh, come on in and pick up a petition. Uh, and resolution for the polling place for elections. Resolution, resolution polling place in time, 2010 elections, village of Champlain. Where is the village? The next village election for officers of the village of Champlain, New York, will be held on March 16, 2010. Whereas the Board of Trustees of said village must designate by resolution the polling place and hours which the polls shall be open for Section 15-104-3B of the State of New York Election Law, then be it hereby resolved that the Board of Trustees of the Village of Champlain has determined the polling place shall be at the Village of Champlain Office, 1104 Route 9, Champlain, New York, with the polls being open from 12 noon to 9 p.m. And be it resolved that as required by section 15-104-3b of the state election law, notice the said village polling place and time, the polls will be open be given at least 60 days prior to said election date. The resolution shall take effect immediately. Following question, was duly put to a roll call, which results as follows. Mayor Moore is excused. Trustee Trombley. Aye. Trustee Martin. Aye. Trustee Trombley. Aye. Trustee Garrick. Aye. Thank you. Uh, and under new business, uh, Douglas Stearns requested that we take a look at his folks' um, water bill. There was a running toilet. His dad uh, was in the hospital in a nursing home. Uh, and they're looking for an adjustment uh, on a large bill that they were not aware of. Does anybody have questions on that? That was number four under correspondences. This is the first request Donna has ever had. Uh, well, I didn't see anything. Okay, we're looking for a total of 83, <coughs> what was it? 8436. 84, 36. Um, can I have a motion, please? I make a motion that we give them a one-time credit of $84.36 on the bill. Thank you. Can I have a second? Second. Thank you, Tom. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Is there any further business to come before the board tonight? Yes. We have to set a budget meeting. Oh, yeah. 
I didn't have that down here. I kind of skipped over this. You folks do not need to stay. Away. We're going to schedule yeah, lunch he meetings tonight, now. The clock. He's just got to go to work. So. Yeah. <laughs> thank, thank you for coming. Thank you for participating. Yeah, thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you. Have a good evening, everybody. Our budget meetings are always fun and stimulating. <laughs> I have enough budget meetings at home. <laughs> <laughs> have a good night. Thank you. You too. Bye. All right. Are there any times that are Bye. Bye. Thank you, Terry. Good. Bad for folks. How soon do we want to start them? Well, yes. Whatever you want. What do you think? Okay. Well. February. That's a good try. Well, I'm not, I'm not oh. here much. Yeah. Oh, you're not here much. No, That's neither one of us. That's why I said February. Oh, okay. Do you have any any time you hear at all, January? Yeah. This week. And which we're not available. Okay. <laughs> we Good. leave on Saturday. We're gone until the twenty fifth. And I possibly have one day of that week. Uh, okay. It's like a two tentative, so it's tough to do. <laughs> we come back on a Monday. We have a I got a meeting on Wednesday, and I've got twenty sixth and twenty eighth. Tentative. It's not a week. It's not a month. Cool. But February is pretty open. Okay. Well, we'll book some February. You want to do one for January? Just get it kicked off here. Uh, the only. Maybe one or two or whatever. Jeff will be here. We can cash out. Okay. Yeah, you'll, if, as long as the three of you are here for mm -hmm. a quorum, mm -hmm. we're just not available. Right. But really, almost the rest of the month. I'll just copy Okay. Forever. So we are at the 12th, the 11th today. Um, I can still do next Monday if you want to do Monday the 18th. Uh, do you want to go earlier, later? What do you want to do? Six is fine. Six? Okay, 6 p.m. budget the 18th. We'll confirm with Jeff tomorrow. Okay. He said pretty much any time is okay with him. He's retired from What's do. wrong with that? They got nothing to do. That's great. That's all I love it. All right. Then the next week I'm back, so Mondays are out. I can do. Hmm. You know what? Uh, let me call Paul and come pull up his basketball schedule because one of us has to be in the house. So um, let me just see what his schedule is at next week. And on Mondays he doesn't have games usually. Call. We'll give you dates in a second. All right. Any other new business? Okay. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Motion to adjourn. Thank you. We call them out. They'll check for